Fuck it, we'll do it. Thanks to your declaration, the mural crown is assigned to a notice the rightful winner, Scipio, is impressed. Oh, wow. Ha <laughs> Hey. 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 I'm sorry, we snitched, but hey. We're gonna be surpassing you pretty soon, so, uh, yeah. Yo, what is going on, everyone? Scarlet this cheer, and we are back a week later with some more Legionaries Life. Now, last time, we cut it really close. Um, I actually thought we were done. You know, the combat got a lot harder, or at least our opponents were. And, um, unfortunately for Forging, we failed twice in a row now, so, yeah. We gotta really, really make sure that we don't fuck up too much anymore. Otherwise, I could definitely see us getting capped out before the end of this campaign. And we're working with high morale right now, uh, which is good. I'm pretty sure we're not over-exercised, and we've, you know, we just made it out of that, like, very, very testing and uh, honestly stressful um, combat scenario. So what we have to do right now, and it's been I think a couple days since I took a look at the stats and everything, but I'm pretty sure what we have to do is continue to level up um, our stats to an acceptable level because right now we're still at the rank of the Sirius. Uh, I don't think that's going to change anytime soon, maybe it will, but we got to get that sword and shield. However, it's taking quite a bit of time right now to actually get it to an acceptable level. So I think the best thing to do right now is actually get Javelin to maybe 60 so we can actually start throwing it and maybe, you know, reducing the amount of enemies we have to take on mono e mono. Also, it'd be really good to actually have the option to throw it at the start of combat and actually hit an enemy and reduce health so we don't have to worry too much about, you know, managing our health pool. Um, when fight, but yeah, enough talking. Let's let's get to the training with the javelin. So, okay, Morad, what the? Okay, there we go. That was your wounds are unhurt. So yeah, we're definitely wounded. Uh, okay, looks like we got shit happening. Here. This part of the country is at the mercy of Rome's legions. Several cities surrender without a fight. That's what they should be doing, right? Not every city, though. The one in front of you stands defiantly against your besieging army. Today, you'll storm the city walls. Wherever you look, men are at work building ladders. Getting in the right life can be a difficult task. Have your say. Let the others... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm pretty sure our intelligence is high enough to actually be able to have my say in this. Your rank carries weight. They listen to... Okay, so I guess it's the rank, then. Uh, the ladders are ready. Only the field test will tell if your evaluation... Oh, come on. You advance towards the city... Uh, the assault begins. The defenders who do what they can for against the allies and pop against the walls. Their length may not be perfect, but they will do. Okay, good enough. Uh, the first man over the wall will receive a mural crown, one of the most highly. Uh, you are not in charge of the man while making it. Of course, you may decide to help your centurion. You can be sure he will be generous should you succeed. Okay, so we have three options. Just do my job, don't take any risks. Help the Centurion or go for the Mirror Crown. We have been, uh, we have definitely pushed our luck a little bit too much. Um, and I'm just a little bit hesitant because I do not want to die. So I'm just going to do my job right now because I don't think I'm going to pass the stat checks for any of the other two options above, right? But, okay, so yeah. Your careful approach spares you the worst while you are still climbing the opposition on the ramparts is slowly but steadily crushed. Your compatriots have overcome the city's defenses. Your Centurion is claiming to have been the first. Uh, mount on the wall. You clearly saw he wasn't uh, testify against him. Do I don't think we have high virtue though. Fuck it, we'll do it. Thanks to your declaration, the mural crown is assigned to a notice. The rightful winner, Scipio, is impressed. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, I'm sorry, we snitched, but hey. Uh, we're gonna be surpassing you pretty soon, so, uh, yeah. Social mobility, guys. Don't do this, though. But social mobility, when it benefits. The Pro Council. Thank you, Mr. Pro Council. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get the javelin back uh, increased. Oh, again, like events are just popping up now. Like we're back and forth and back. And... Woo! The recent sack of the enemy camp and the capture of nearby cities provided a large amount of loot and spoils. It is shared. Now you know what this means, guys. 
Let's get some chain mail. You hear about Spikes' capture. He was unforced while leading a desperate attack on Lewis and Messenia's army near Kurta, the capital of his kingdom. Carthage has lost its most valuable ally. Dumbass. All right, we are good. Oh my, look at this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, so we're in the Principality's land, but I need to actually, um, one thou- Oh, we are, guys, we are going to buy. We are going to- we are buying for sure. 100 coverage, 90, 11 to 36. What is this? 13. Okay, this is actually better. Um, just got the coverage. All right, let's see what the chain mill does. 15 on 28. Uh, do I even have Greaves is the question? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Let's take a look at this. Gladius, 5 to 16, 36, 37, handiness on a 60. Yeah, this looks a lot better and a lot stronger. Um, 5 to 16, I, I think this is worth getting. This is like, this is two more damage. Equip Gladius, Hispanius, 4. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, what the fuck? Hang on a fucking second. How, how the fuck is this? No, no, this is five. This is six. This is a six variant. Anti-armor. How is this better than this? What? I am so confused. 1136. Okay, okay, okay. Do you really want to continue? No, we're not, we're not going to leave. Okay. So we're going to compare this. 1136. This is 15 on 28. But this has way more coverage. Um, and it doesn't... Yeah, this is this is better by far. We're getting this for sure. We are getting that for sure. Uh, we still now we still have enough for ooh, the back. Wait, don't we have a back break? Yeah, breastplate. No, we don't. Not anymore. Okay, so this is Gladius Hispanius. Oh, okay, so this is better. Supposedly, sixteen to four. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with this. I've been viewing this for too long, and I'm just looking at like overall stats. Uh, having a better anti-armor rating and handiness is going to come in really handy. <laughs> uh, not to sound like, you know, <laughs> ironic, but yeah. Alright, 5 to 16, yeah. We're, we'll just take the damage loss. I don't think we're going to be hitting 5s though, so this probably is worth it at the end of the day. Um, I don't really see a situation where there's anything better, and I don't really want to gamble right now. So just like that, guys. Uh, oh my lord, we have... Uh, Ah, yeah, yeah, we have definitely, definitely spent a lot of our money. Let's just say that. Alright, I do want to sell this, though. Um, yeah, let's sell this. And then... Oh, yeah, so this is our starting sword as well. So we can sell both of these for, I think, a respectable... 32? Really? 32? Jesus. That's the way it goes sometimes. That's just the way. Uh, I gotta imagine though that uh, the sword we got, the Gladius, was auto-generated because the one we had before, like the the one with 52 handiness, that just like, if it says Gladius Hispanius 6, you gotta imagine that it's gonna be better than like a Gladius Hispanius without any modifier or number. I don't know. Just, uh, just food for thought if you will. So we're gonna head back here. Uh, much better armor. I feel a lot more confident now just because of this piece of armor, guys. Uh, and we'll, we'll see exactly how effective it is. Let's go to the javelin practice again. I'm going to keep doing javelin uh, because for now it's going to keep going back and forth, right? So intelligence, your ability to organize. There we go. People like me more. Uh, the guard is irreplaceable even when you are understaffed and have to fill the gaps. That's excellent, right? Last episode, we did a cut. We did some stupid shit like trying to like intervene in shit. Cost us a lot of relation. Ain't doing that no more. That was us pushing our luck. Uh, your fair share of spare time were fun, unfortunately. Okay. Alright, so I'm not improving anymore. But this improved. Okay, okay. Now we have to do some leisure because... Yeah. This fucking shit. Alright, someone told me you could move the map around to, like, take a look at the villages and shit. Um... Uh, and you know you can so okay we have to let, let's let's think about like a battle plan right now i want to go here 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 and here all right so that means i'm gonna have to move northwest and unless there's fishing i don't stop 
for anything. No. Okay, maybe we collect that time. Oh wait, wait, wait. That was a that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Okay, okay. Oh, it's showing you how many you can collect. I'm so fucking stupid. Holy shit. Why didn't I realize this sooner, boys? You find a brook with a good fishing spot. We are fish. Son of a bitch. Collect. Give me the give me the whole harvest. I don't give a shit. Funnily enough, had we not taken the bribe in the previous episode, we most likely don't have enough money to buy um, the chainmail and the um, the sword. So. No, fuck it, I ain't trying this. We failed the check last time, I ain't about to fucking fail it again. No, 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 get that fucking shit out of here. I'm gonna succeed, and my mental stats are going up, game. Drink a little water. Ah, uh, yes, you have found enough supplies to go back. Hell yeah. Wait, we have to go back before time? What? Oh my lord. Okay. Now I now I definitely regret trying to do the fishing. Oh, this is horseshit. Well, if we make it, it won't be, but still. We're not gonna make it, aren't we? You fucking piece of shit. You fucking. Your spirit's not particularly happy about this. Neither are you. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the third time in- I don't even want to count it. I don't even want to count it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay 52 denarii. Okay. Sweet. Again, okay. A slave bumps into you and falls dropping his load. Uh, make sure he's alright. I'm not gonna be an asshole. Yeah, I'm not gonna be an asshole. Suddenly you notice something in your body's stuff. You thought you heard a strange noise that fell on the ground. He was hiding a fair amount of money. He is not a slave. Report the thief. Damn! Caught red-handed. There's not much he can do. A bunch of soldiers drag him away. Okay, so we basically got our um, relation restored after failing that um, foraging mission. So yeah, the troops absolutely love us. Pro Council is a little bit more favored to us. Virtue is going up a little bit. Apparently being mid-virtue is high in this game. or considered high, so we'll be sure to use that to our advantage. But I want to go back to... Um, Actually, let's do a workout. Let's get that strength up. Okay, let's try something else. Endurance and coordination. All right, that's good. Despair is pushing Carthage to sue for peace once more. An armistice is arranged, and for a time, it seems that negotiations may succeed. I added that for no reason. It doesn't last. When a large number of Roman transports are scattered by a storm along the coast near Carthage, and a Punic fleet is sent to capture them, the Roman envoys asking for their return are first set upon by an angry mob, then almost killed on their way back. At the same time, Hannibal and his army are recalled to Africa. After 15 years, he is leaving Italia. This may be great news for your fellow citizens in Rome, but you have mixed feelings about it. That's because we're going to have to take care of him now. And he's pissed the fuck off. He spent 15 years literally doing jack shit. Rome's most fearsome and cunning enemy is coming after you. See, I told you. No matter how weakened and tired he may be, he is still the man whose name struck fear into the hearts of your people for so long. One consultation... The way the Phoenix think of Scipio is not much different by now. If anyone can stop Hannibal, it's him. Oh, wow, it looks like it's a... Uh... Okay, 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 let's get this up. Alright, so it looks like all these other stats are going... I really wish we could have quickness go up, but um, I think it can only be trained... Shit, only by running. Okay, of Denari. Okay, okay, that's bad. We are taking too much morale damage. I, I completely did not notice that. There are persistent rumors that Hasbro Gisco killed himself in Carthage before his own people could execute him. Apparently, the situation is getting more and more tense in the Punic capital. Alright, so we're going to be fighting these clowns really, really soon. And um, that's as long as we... I want to get the high morale again. That's kind of the ideal situation. Okay, you have to leave your marching column to answer a call of nature. And I failed the awareness. Where will you pass through? Okay, even though calm so cool, you don't feel comfortable reading here. Fortunately, nothing happens. Alright, good news. Nothing bad happened. Sweet. Um, but yeah, awareness being impacted is a little bit troublesome. We're back on high with the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, ch -ch -ch morale. So I'm going to do uh, best sparring, and that didn't get any better. So I'm going to try it again. Sword skill did increase. Okay, so that's pretty good. 
Uh, I was going to do a javelin, but I figured we'd try to push this up to maybe 70 a little bit. Um, obviously, that's not going to happen, but with the better armor we have right now, I think we have a better chance of uh, surviving the next you know, bits of combat. So that bar's going to reset. Uh, your speed days is March from Carthage. Uh, you don't know Hannibal's exact location, only that he must be close. According to spy reports, he raised more troops after landing in Africa, but it's not them that you should worry about. His trusted veterans are with him. Men who have survived in hostile territory for 15 years. Uh, Ligurian mercenaries, enrolled by his youngest brother, Mago, who succumbed at sea to his wounds, have also joined his army. Soldiers from uh, Brutim, former allies of... Is that supposed to be... Britium or oh god, I don't even know. I was at Rome who sided with the Punic general after Kanye complete the, the foot force. You feel a weird sense of disequitude as the next few days could forever change the course of the world. Man, we gotta we gotta not fuck up. <laughs> Alright. All seems quiet as you patrol the area near the camp. Eventually the leading uh op optio has to split up the party. You are in a position to make your choice. All right, let's not fuck this up. Go down the path descending towards the bank of the narrow stream. That's it. Go, go up the snaking path to the left turn area. Litter of oaks and shrubs. What kind of options are these? The bank of a narrow, a narrow stream. Okay, um, that sounds like a disaster. If when I think about narrow stream, guys, I think about literally we got hills surrounding the stream there's a bunch of trees everywhere perfect place for uh, missile units to just fling shit at you um i'm gonna go to the left oaks and shrubs you're about to give up as there's nothing to be found here when a bunch of legionaries call for the rest of you they have found a man hiding behind a large shrub who didn't speak but surrenders immediately okay the awareness needs to be higher the aware we got to get the awareness higher two more spies were captured and brought before skip to everyone's astonishment he treats them he treats them as free men and even instructs a tribute to show them around the camp. When the tour is complete, the Phoenix spies are seen departing, attended by an escort of all things. A few days later, you are breaking camp. He did that on purpose. Uh, and moving closer to Donna. Rumors of a rifle that Hannibal wants to meet Scipio in person and talk peace. Whether he's doing this out of curiosity after the mag magnanimous treatment of his scouts, magamonious, whatever, or because of something they saw during their uh, uncustomary visit, you have no idea. You stop near a town called Naragara. As always, you start building your camp on an easily defendable position. The Carthaginians set their camp less than four miles away. Uh, another day goes by. Scipio leaves camp with a bodyguard of picked horsemen. From your observation point, you watch them ride slowly uh, towards the meeting place. They join a similar group coming from the opposite camp. When they are close enough, most of the riders stop. Two figures from each group advance towards each other. The two commanders and their interpreters. You have no idea which is from this far. All you see is four barely indistinguishable dots. One of these dots is the man that shook your world to its foundations. The meeting goes on for a while. The fate of millions depending on the unrevealed, unrevealed words they are trading. Then four dots separate and rejoin their escorts riding back to their respective camps. Okay, before we even continue, I just want to note that now we're passing physical checks, but we're failing mental checks. How things have changed. Too soon, way too soon. To have reached agreement, you see the apprehension on the faces of those standing next to you. When Scipio gets back and spreads, word quickly spreads through the camp. There will be battle tomorrow. Eager for battle. I ain't about. I need some loot. You're more out there. For so many years, you have been winning victory after victory under Scipio's leadership. You have come a long way. You won't falter tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly. The day has come. Your army is fully deployed on the battlefield. The principals, my line, to which you will act. Hey, I already know that. Stand in the center with the rest of the infantry. The Hastati form a line in front of you. That was us two episodes ago. Pure scrubs. Unlike the usual checkered pattern, the gaps between each of their manifolds are exactly in front of the gaps between yours. Also, their gaps are filled up with abilities. Usually, these skirmishers are deployed in front of the heavy infantry behind you. The Shirari are disposed in similar arrangement. The Shirari are is like the the goal. That's like the safe, heavily armored, you know, I'm in a good spot. That's what we want to work towards. The continuous line of men up ahead blocks your view. You can't see anything of the enemy except for the elephants. Hannibal has positioned his huge beasts in the middle, right there in front of you. Hey, ain't gonna, we'll beat them. Your wings are protected by the cavalry as usual. Masin, Masinissa leads his Numidian warriors on the right, while Lelius is in command of your italic Sachi on the left. You wait. I'm butchering every pronunciation, boys. I don't even care. There's nothing else you can do. The lull is interrupted when the elephant starts advancing. 
You wonder how it must feel to the soldiers in the first line. Yeah, the Hastati must be shitting their pants when the large animals are close enough. A deafening noise raises from the sides every horn trumpet in the hands of your cavalry. Well, it seems to work. The elephants are unsettled by the r- racket. Some of them turn away and run off on their own. The rest keep advancing towards the center. The villages fall back, opening the wide gaps between the manifolds of the Hastati. The elephants are lured in while the villages keep attacking them with their javelins. They are approaching through a line. Seeing these fearsome beasts roaming about is disconcerting. There are elephants at Ilipa, but they never got this close. Well, what the fuck was I supposed to do? I'm not in a position of command. I wouldn't have told the Velatis to fucking kite out. Come on! You keep banging your shield with the sword as you have been instructed to do. The elephants keep away from the noise while the Velatis go on dealing with them. At last, they move past and disappear beyond the rear. The danger is over for the moment. You notice your cavalry is no longer there. They must have charged when you were dealing with it. So we were banging shields the whole time and nobody saw cavalry move? Fair enough. At a signal, the Hastati close the gaps and start moving forward. Uh, you do the same and follow. You stop at a distance when they engage something. The Carthaginian first line, you keep ready, not knowing what's going on. At one point, they start advancing again as if their opponent were retreating. Then suddenly they come to an abrupt halt. Their line is losing cohesion under what must be a powerful shock. The centurion in charge of your manacle decides it's time to spring into action. He leads you forward to reinforce the study and fill the gaps. There's not enough room for everyone, at least initially. Dash into the... We're gonna be careful. We're gonna be careful. No one will notice the continue to avoid fighting. Yeah, for a while, but eventually... Guys, I'm not trying to get my ass up. Like, listen, I'm not trying to, like, go into multiple fights, lose HP, right? I gotta survive. First, she goes down by three. It literally don't matter, as long as we keep it at the middle bar, okay? We're not getting an awarded chain. Look, this is this is a decent Carthaginian. So, yeah, we're well-equipped with this chain mill. Um, let's, uh, let's close in. I'm not gonna throw the javelin. I really don't think... It's high enough right now. It needs to be at least 60 before it becomes reliable. So, uh, opening up. Ooh, we can get quite a bit. Of, uh, let's get a quick faint on this guy. So it's gonna work, he's gonna resist. He faints me, he fails the faint, that's excellent for us. We're gonna do a depth faint. A little bit questionable, he resists that as well. Succeed for recovery, that's bullshit. Misses his attack, gets a chain, gets a chain recovery. Okay, well, the game's gonna make up for it by allowing me to land something on him, right? Okay, well, uh, oh no. Come on, let me get. Give me the recovery. Oh, I'm fucked. Holy shit, dude. Full defense. Full defense. Full defense. Okay, he fails two death feints on me. Come on! Yes! There we go, there we go. Full defense, come on, recover. I, I'm not I'm not doing any attacks until I get the He's succeeding in respite and chaining death feints. Come on now. Alright, he misses that. Alright, we're gonna recover again. I'm not about to. Okay, I cannot. I, I have to. I have to. I have to go this. Okay. Reset the fight. Reset the fight. So he's gonna run out of energy pretty soon. That's really good for me. Uh, torso hits. Are you gonna do enough damage? Because he's pretty well protected and covered. Arm hits will though. So we're gonna switch to that. Obviously, we missed that attack. We get to recover. Uh, Alright, it looks like nothing's gonna happen in this round, which is fine. As long as we save our energy. I'm just gonna try to. I'm not gonna use too much. I want to make sure that I'm in proper stance when the next guy comes along. A little bit unfortunate how we opened up this fight though, and I'm missing these hits even though I shouldn't be. All right, so eventually, yeah, break away. 19 rounds, literally nothing happened except them getting fatigued. The opposite line is broken, but the clash has left you un partially scattered. Your cavalry and the enemy are nowhere to be seen. All right, so let's continue. The enemy infantry is fleeing, but in the distance they start splitting into separate directions. Something is blocking their path. Beyond you spot another line of foot soldiers ready for battle. You notice the glitter of heavy armor. Hannibal has kept his veterans. Your war- Okay. Mounted Roman high, high officers ride from side to side, shouting orders. Your manifold has to fall back and move to the right wing, but it is a difficult um, maneuver given the situation. Help the centurions and the rear and follow the orders and stay out of the way. I want to follow orders, boys. I, I ain't my, We failed the awareness check. I'm I sure as hell I'm not going to risk the coordination check. I'm going to listen. Do their best, but time is too short. Uh, yeah. Now you form a single line. Uh, okay. You have faced many battles, but walking over mutilated corpses. Jesus. You're, the enemy line is waiting for you. This is... We're fucked. Your ancestors at Lake... The men who broke the war like salmonates. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Do they... Here in the center, you have to face Hannibal's... It's finest troops. You have... Who have followed his lead through his... Oh no, this could be the end, boys. This could very well be the end. If we had trouble with basic cavalry, levy, spear. Oh my god. Just throw it. 
Okay. Hannibal's veteran. What does this guy have? So are we basically tied? His coordination is very strong. So who has the advantage is the question. Okay, so I don't even have a chance. All right, let's see what he's going to do. All right, he misses that, he, but he's going to have a good opportunity to change shit over. All right, let's do a quick... Okay. So he has more moves than me. Balanced. Respite. I'm going to respite this. He res... How, wait, how is he getting these chains off me? I, I get one attack to his three. I get one attack to his three. What the fuck's going on? Come on, recover. Recover! There we go. There we fucking go. Holy shit. Is there any chance that I have at this? I Oh my lord. Recover. And I failed the recovery. He's gonna soft spot me. I'm like super low on health too. Alright. And I failed my quick faint. He succeeds his recovery. I'm gonna succeed mine. I try to do a full reset. I should have helped out. I should have not been such a wuss that time. And now it is costing me. How are we failing the faints? Jesus Christ. Fail the faints. He quick faints me. I'm gonna try to recover. Obviously, I don't get that. He's gonna get a ooh, good absorption. Come on. There we go. Reset the fight. Come on. Reset the Oh my lord. He's just gonna get complete. On. The only way we win this is through attrition. Like we have to get this guy to another green bar. If I can get that, there's a chance. But he's getting like you see this shit. He's getting three attacks to one. I have one opportunity. Unless I somehow land a good chain, I'm fucked. Like nothing's nothing. Let's try like slash missing. Situation is shifting. Okay, okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So there's actually a chance to like survive this. So he doesn't fuck us over completely. We're gonna be wounded, but I'll take a wound. He's gonna miss the wound. Okay, okay, okay. He misses that attack. We're gonna go for a quick faint right now. Chances are a little bit higher. He successfully recovers again. What a fucking dipshit. What a fucking dipshit. Respite, I'm gonna... We're gonna succeed in that. Okay, good. Um, allows for your centurion to give a signal to the line behind you. Okay, okay. Can, can I please get someone that's not a veteran? In your current position, it's difficult to figure out. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, close in. So is this guy... It's the same fucking dude, too. We failed the paint, obviously. Okay, let's let let's go back here. <laughs> let's just let's do that. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, if he wants to, you know what? I'm just gonna keep respiting. I have I can, I don't have the HP right now to take advantage of like anything except full respite. Right? I've got to like I'm not I'm not even gonna try because I'm just gonna let this guy tire himself out and then like survive. I, I've got to be I've got to be like a cockroach, boys. I've got to be a cockroach. This guy ain't getting shit off on me. You wanna fucking- You wanna fucking do this shit? Fine. I ain't about to fall into your bullshit trap. I'm gonna get you fucking fatigued and then we talk about later. Go ahead. I, I, I'll just be fully unfatigued. You go right ahead. You go right ahead. Right? Go right ahead. I'll do a feint now. See if I can get- Yeah, that's right. You're gonna miss that as usual. I'm gonna quick faint you again now. I'm gonna chain see- He's gonna resist every single faint. He's gonna successfully get that back. That's fine. I'm just gonna do a quick little respite over here. Boom, boom, bang, bang. Right? Morale's obviously taking a little bit of a hit, but now I feel comfortable going back to like uh, the balanced stance. It's gonna respite. You're gonna succeed in that. See, look at this. He can't. He can't land shit on me. He just can't. He just can't do it. See? He can't do it. Come on, keep tiring yourself out, man. Keep tiring yourself out. This shit, this shit's not gonna work out for you. See? Hey, we might not have the offense, but we sure as hell have the defense. As a brief lull in the fighting. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, he's gonna be tired. He's gonna be tired. And then we just fuck him up. Close in. Is this guy... Oh my god, this could be... Is this gonna be 80 rounds of this shit? Oh lord. Respite, I'm just gonna keep respite. Oh, he's injured! Yes. He misses. Can we at least get one hit? Come on. 
All right, let's recover. There we go, there we go. He misses that. He's gonna recover that. That is fine. I'm just gonna respite. I'm just gonna let him spam his attacks away. And uh, I wonder how long this goes. Like, I'm actually curious to see if the game's gonna force us to kill him. Because the only way that happens is if he's like two bars of fatigue down. Like, there's no way I see us actually getting a killing blow. Let's do an arm strike. Yeah, we missed the arm. See, like, there's a, we just don't have the offense. 14 rounds against this fucking clown. Jesus Christ. Respite. You're not gonna faint us, dude. We're balanced. Yeah, you're not gonna get shit. That's our arm strike. See, we missed that. Oh my god, big mistake. Are we dead? We could be dead. We could very well be dead. I should not have done that. Come on, that's four recoveries. And he gets his recovery? Come on. And he gets a quick faint, right? And he gets his respite off, right? Okay, okay. Despite your efforts, okay, that's... Oh, hey! We survived. We survived. The Phoenix won't give way, but they are too strong. Your comrades are tired. Too many are wounded. They are faltering. So many are so... Are we about to lose? You almost failed to hear the thunderclap, and then shockwaves ripple to the Carthaginians. What? The, cal the cavalry is back. Attack. <gasps> Like a cockroach, boys. Like a literal cockroach. Attack on two fronts. The Phoenix are in chaos now. Without wasting a moment, you renew your soul with energies. Don't tell me we have to fight these guys again. Many more stand where they are fight to their last breath. Others surrender when they realize all hope is over. Is finally over. <laughs> Didn't have to kill them, boys. Did not have to kill them. Just, just. Woo! 170, boys. Hey. They say that Hannibal himself, upon his return to Carthage, told the Senate that the war was lost. Oh, he ran. Of course he did. The Council of the War, summoned by Scipio, discards a direct attack on the Phoenix capital. The city's well protected and a siege would take years. Peace talks are resumed. Carthage is allowed to keep its laws and its territories in Africa. It loses everything else. Its foreign policy becomes de facto subject to Rome's rule. The war indemnity they are to pay all will cripple them for generations. Damn, that's a lot of money. The warships, once the pride and symbol of their power over great seas, are reduced to tension. <laughs> Jesus. Thus ends a 16 year war, not the longest, but the bloodiest conflict the world has seen. We made it! We fucking made it, boys! We fucking made it. Your, victor your victorious army leaves Africa and lands at Lilibetum. From there, you set sail once more to your destination in Ostia, Rome's seaport. What is waiting for you and your comrades in Rome is beyond your expectations. The triumphal procession is the most imposing the city has ever seen. Scipio, whom they start calling Africanus for the land he conquered, parades in front of you, his army on chariot pulled by four white horses. Today, the survivors of Kanye are the most deeply affected. They had their revenge at last, and no one will ever dare to question their honor again. But their long exile stole many years from their lives. This is something nobody will be able to give back. Meanwhile, another war is looming in the east. Emissaries from Paragamon, Rhodes, and even Athens came that came seeking the help of Rome against the expansion of King Philip V, a ruler of Macedonia, one of the powerful kingdoms carved from Alexander's immense empire. Many see this new war as an opportunity too good to miss. The Republic may be tired after the long conflict of Carthage, but the army has been forged into. Publius Sulpius Galba, elected as one of the two consuls for this year, is assigned to deal with the crisis in Macedonia. He is allowed to add precious veterans from Africa like yourself to his army, but only a voluntary basis. Hey, fucking kidding me. We doing this shit again? Are we running it back a third time? Are we going again? You are promised a quick campaign. It's always a promise of a quick campaign. In a rich land with plenty of loot to settle down and allow your family to live in a comfortable... I haven't even got to see the family for fuck's sake. Alright boys, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.